Hello everybody and welcome back to Phoenix Wright is Attorney. Today we are going to be ending Turnabout Samurai. So let's get started. October 20th, 10 a.m. District Court, cor courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both of the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. But... A boot. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory, theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edward seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 tra trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <clears throat> fucking asshole. Fuck you, why does every fucking witness hate me? <sighs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to, so to speak. The day of the murder. I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4 o'clock. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the morning. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm! I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Mmm! There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be ris risky to walk, wh what with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. I... I see. Van. Type other. Submitted as evidence during the trial. Manella used this van to drive Vasquez to su Studio One after meeting in the trailer. I don't know if I... High-ranking producer at Cool Studios, present on the day of the crime, Divasquez, age 34, gender female. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Day of the murder. I entered the trailer a little before noon. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. The meeting began at 12 o'clock shop. It ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come to come here to have in 
The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> but there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And what exactly was that? I've forgotten. Forgot. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 o'clock, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5 o'clock. Yeah, I would think it was between... Mm. I I keep burping. Kind of, not like... You know what I mean. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had to take me. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to van. Oh, alright. At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate even steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. N no. If she committed murder during- uh, No, that's hearsay. <laughs> Well, no, not technically hearsay, but she's not saying he said anything, but still. If you committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat his T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard, I think she's pretty used to being the boss. I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. No. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area, the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. <laughs> Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You, you ate a boneless steak. You ate the bone. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. I... I see. And then what was Miss Vasquez doing during a break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And if I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. 
Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick! Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The steel samurai... The, the samurai spear? Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of, sp of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you would have a gr you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Lang? Remember that this spear broke during the morning action, run action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security later. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who was wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <sighs> Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what, ki what weapon was used to kill Ham Mr. Hammer? When I make a claim like th that if I couldn't tell you what the murder weapon was, I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Uh, very well. Let's see this murder weapon. Kill them with a photograph. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the, at the top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an un unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is, this is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wh what are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. At 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder, Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I, what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet, the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? 
and return to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting of the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? <laughs> there wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She couldn't? Fifteen minutes is kind of a short amount of time. You see? Even I cannot do the impossible. Therefore, Mr. Wright, I didn't do it. Agreed? Not agreed. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there is no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. With the van. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. And there was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. <laughs> Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course Sal Manella had to be- Of course, Sal Manella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Um... So, what happens next? Don't... Eh, me? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say to you? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez? So it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. W w w w what? Oh, there! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um... Uh, of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there is no proof. I don't really know what I'm doing. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do we do now? I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? 
uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. Objection. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor. prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see what we have... I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly do you want her to testify about? <clears throat> well, yes, um... Indeed, verily, I say, Echo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick! Why did Edgeworth? Who knows? You probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth. I was with Sally Nordbag, the security lady, security lady, when we found the potter. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony, Mr. Wright, to cross examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. I was with Sal Nordbag, the security lady, when we found the potty. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 o'clock for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at, at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't suffering, stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well? Then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't setting any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what the people are saying, boy. But boy The witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was abs absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember? What? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm, I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez, <laughs> logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was, speak was thinking le very logically, I assure you. Also. Without his still samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. Objection, Your Honor, look at my client. <laughs> he stands out, man. He's big. We often left him on the bus when shooting at locations. 
No one noticed he was missing. Poor powers! Hmm, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Mr. Vasquez, you may continue. I immediately called the police, then powers showed up. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. And it was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Silent. Hey, hey Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something right and things up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at powers, saying he did it. Old bag? The security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, the steel samurai. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph. Meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgement when it comes to Hava. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there I can use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you? I covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it with all, with all those big wigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable, and it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that you wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? Well, there was a matter, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have she would have to have she would have had to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What you, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of its career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez. Do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Oh, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense? What kind of court is this? The prosecution is usually in cahoots with the defense. Usually they, they work together. Like, in real life. I know this game isn't really all that realistic when it comes like, to actual court, but... Defense attorneys and prosecutors do work together. No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change your testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. 
How did you know about the injury? How did I know? So, he told me. So, the director, hmm. You have to find something to peg this on her for here. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. I think this. You knew that hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Seal Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I, I already said it to a South who told me. <laughs> that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez? Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? Well, it would, ha it would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. And that's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness? Can you refute this claim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Uh... Why are the real killers so always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammond dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death, nothing. Hmm, <laughs> yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Nick, no! Saying you can't prove it now would be admitting defeat! She'll get away! But, but what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one! Uh, okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's murder in this motive in this murder. I guess the photo again? Three ball? This is my proof! This is the photo from before. <sighs> this photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With Steve Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, this the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, D. Vasquez used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. 
bringing us to the present day, in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's murder, motive for murder. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez, Miss Vas, nah. all Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. Wh what? 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 I thought it was her saying that. No, it was Edgeworth. Your Honor, M Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone, call an ambulance! Th there's blood everywhere! We're too late! Uh, Ms. Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs! Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no, how could this? It was, it was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, Manuel. Don't touch, don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No. Please, please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Wright, what? Where is D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I. Thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Manuel Powers was innocent. But that he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. That is all. The court is adjourned. October 20th, 1.12pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you all so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think he, he tried to frame me for the murder it makes me sad. So tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was the big star once, 
but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and as the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so, he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could've just told me. I would've changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh, oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Hmm? Is... something wrong? No, uh, of course not. Ah! Nick, that's worse. Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if, it, if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Bowers. <laughs> ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. He's not lying. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They'd only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what, what I came here to tell you. Well, Edgeworth, you're the only prosecutor other than Payne in, 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 the, in the fucking state, Edgeworth. I, I can't not, okay? Um, Mr. Wright, is that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if... They're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closes on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully... Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? You have to trade with Cody and that assistant! Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world's ready for the real Will Powers. The end. A brand new episode has been added. Turn them out. Goodbyes. Yeah, I'll save it. And today, well, next time, we'll start. The, oh, that's what the still magistrate actually looks like. Why is it, why are his lips purple? Why does Cody have a heart for a tongue? Anyways, next time, we'll start turnabout goodbyes. But, that's for next time. So... Bye-bye! God damn it.